everybody, Chara here, and welcome to the final installment of Disney Month. For quite some time, I have been getting requests for a top 5 Toy Story characters by some user named Nathan. But to be honest, I'd rather do a top 5 Pixar characters instead, which is today's topic. The reason I wanted to do a Pixar characters video is because there are other Pixar movies I do happen to like besides Toy Story. So for each of the 5 candidates, I'll be including some from each different Pixar film I like. So without wasting any more time, let's begin, shall we? Coming at number 5 is Doc Hudson from Cars. Doc Hudson is one of the supporting characters in the first Cars movie. In his younger days, he was a famous racing car known as the Hudson Hornet who won three Piston Cups until he suddenly crashed in 1954. And years later, he became the current owner of Radiator Springs and was the one who sent his Lemon McQueen to do community service such as using Bessie to fix the damaged road he had caused. What I like about Doc Hudson is that his old age and grumpy persona makes me think of Duke the Lost Engine from Season 4 of Thomas and Friends. And he's also blue too. He's even a grandfather figure and mentor to Lightning McQueen when it comes to important tips and advice like turning right to go left and turning left to go right. Oh, and fun fact. Did you know that the Hudson Hornet was based on a real-life car of the same name and had also crashed in 1954? Yeah, that's why I chose Doc Hudson as number 5. However, another reason why he's number 5 is because, for one thing, he unfortunately passed away off-screen after the events of the first movie, possibly due to old age. Secondly, while I do like the Cars franchise in general, but I do miss the Chevron Cars from the good old days of my childhood because they were a thing before Cars came around. But all in all, Doc Hudson is a great and interesting character. He is the reason why the first Cars movie will always be the best, even though the third one comes at a close second. Coming at number 4 is Wally. Wally is a garbage collecting robot who crushes garbage into little cubes. He eventually comes across a shiny white robot named Eve, who he had fallen in love with. What I like about Wally is that he's cute, adorable, and quite adventurous. He was also looking for love because he likes to watch Hello Dolly on VHS all the time. But for me, I'd rather be single for now and raise my two dogs as well as my nephews and nieces instead because I don't think I could handle all the parenting stuff on my own. Not to mention that I can't afford the marriage bill because it costs thousands of dollars. But overall, Wally is a cute character and one of my favorite robot characters in cartoon history. It would be kind of interesting if they ever decided to make a sequel to Wally just to see what happens after the events of the first movie. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see my honest thoughts on the Wally movie, I'll provide a link into the description below. Number three is a tie between Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc. I don't know about you, but I think Mike and Sully are a great duo and some of my favorite main characters in the Pixar universe. I especially think Billy Crystal and John Goodman did a great job voicing these two. What I like about these two characters is not only they're funny, but they are also quite caring for Boo and together they help bring her back to her door so that she'll be safe at home from Randall, who was the main antagonist in Monsters, Inc. And at first, I didn't like Monsters University as much as the first one, mainly because it was a slight continuity error from the first movie. What I meant by that is, is that in the first movie, Mike and Sully first met in kindergarten, but in the prequel, they first met at college. But I don't think that matters anymore because I now think Monsters University is a pretty good prequel. I mean, it's nowhere near as bad as Cars 2 in terms of consistency. Not that I hate Cars 2 to begin with, but still, you get my idea. Overall, Mike and Sully are two great main characters in the Monsters franchise, and I'm glad that they're getting more public attention with Monsters at work, which was so far pretty good in my opinion, but my opinion might change on that. Number 2 is Dory from Finding Nemo. As much as I don't like Ellen DeGeneres in real life because of the controversy surrounding her, but the only thing I still like about her is her vocal performance as Dory from the Finding Nemo franchise. What I love about Dory is that she's hilarious as hell, not to mention that she's one of my sister's favorite characters, and I have to agree with her. But she can also be quite forgetful, which is known as short-term memory loss but at least she remembers her friends like Marlin and Nemo, 
and that she tries her best to be helpful on their missions. In addition, Dory is such a good character that I love the sequel Finding Dory, which is a pretty decent sequel in my opinion. So overall, despite my thoughts on Ellen DeGeneres as a person, her Dory role is the only best thing about her nowadays, and that's why Dory deserves the number 2 spot. Now before I get to my number 1 pick, I just want to give a few honorable mentions. Marlon and his son Nemo. They got beat out by Dory. Lightning McQueen. I was going to include him on the list as number 5, but I personally find Doc Hudson aka the Hudson Hornet to be more interesting since he's based on the real life race car of the same name. Flick. He would have been higher on the list because unfortunately, there's only one A Bug's Life movie in existence. I kind of wish they made an official sequel to it. And the number one spot is a three-way tie. Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse. I'm sure some of you knew this was coming because Toy Story is my favorite Pixar franchise of all time. And to be honest, I can't wait for Toy Story 5 to come out, which I'm hoping will fix the problems that the last one had. Anyways, when it comes to Pixar trios and teams in general, Woody, Buzz, and Jesse will always be my favorite of the bunch because not only Toy Story is my most favorite Pixar film, but also, I think Jessie is a perfect addition to the team because she and Buzz eventually fell in love with each other. And like Woody and Buzz, she's also very adventurous and daring. Also, am I the only one who sees Jessie as a sister to Woody since she's a cowgirl? Yeah, that's why I don't ship them as a couple. And while yes, there are other Toy Story characters that are part of the team too like Bullseye, Ham, Slinky, Rex, etc. But for the sake of my number one spot, I'm choosing Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse since they were all playable in the Toy Story 3 video game, which is one of the better games based on a movie. So in conclusion, Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and Jesse are my favorite trio of all time when it comes to the Pixar universe. And I do hope I'll get to experience Toy Story Land once my family and I go there this spring. Now let me know in the comment section below on which of these Pixar characters are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? Before I sign off, I just wanted to say thank you for over 4.9 thousand subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And I do hope that my trip to Walt Disney World this spring will be safe despite the overly expensive prices, as well as the company's shoddy reputation nowadays. Please pray for us, folks. Oh, and one last thing. Thank you for joining me at Disney Month. It was quite the ride, hasn't it? And don't worry, once November comes, I will revert to my normal pony avatar just so I can review other topics such as Thomas and Friends. This is Trevor Davis saying, Happy Halloween, everyone!